This is Chris Brown from North Star Law Group. Here is the next part of my presentation before the Tumwater Area Chamber of Commerce on February 19, 2020 on the topic of LLCs versus corporations as entity structures. In this clip, I get on my soapbox and discuss my opinions on LLCs in the context of an operating business. I hope you enjoy. We well, just does it on their own, does their own planning. I do not like LLCs. One, because again, everybody has what and nobody thinks about them. They file their LLC certificate of formation and they forget it exists because it's too simple. People don't respect it. You know, for example, most owners don't have an operating agreement. The operating agreement is similar to bylaws of a corporation. It's the internal rules of how you struck, how you run your LLC. But if you don't have an operating agreement, which rules do you follow? I mean, you're following, you're just kind of making it up as you go along. So basically, and, and if they do have an op operating agreement, it's likely they probably got online. You know, we're going to throw legal zoom under the bus. You know, and they got you know, and they read it. Legal zoom said you have to have one, so they did it. But they don't know what it says. They don't know what it means. So it's, why even have it? And what scares me is the fact that they they set the LLC, but they they kind of treat it as own personal piggy bank. And that's kind of known as the alter, alter ego theory. Basically, um, the LLC is an alter ego of the person. So there really is no separation between the person and the entity. And creditors can see through that. If you're not following formalities, you know, doing what you need to do to run the business, then what's to keep a creditor from attacking you, know, you through the LLC, or vice versa? Um, so this usually comes up when people actually start buying groceries. You know, for personal groceries for them using their LLC bank account and all that commingling, that usually is where my, I start to cringe whenever I hear that. It's like going, ooh, really? Um, now, the default rules in Washington are terrible. Whenever you form an LLC without doing anything else, you have to follow the default rules. Um, Washington changed their rules effective January 1st of 2016 with the idea that they would make life simpler. Freedom of contract. Uh, basically, you can do whatever you want. It's a contract. The problem is that the, the default rules, you know, are really kind of terrible, especially if you have multiple members multiple of the LLC. Um, prior to 2016, your ownership, your voting power, was based on the default was based on your ownership. So if Danny owns 90 percent and I own 10 percent, he had 90 percent of the voting power. I only had 10 percent. So basically, he could override whatever I wanted. Now, absent a in fact, after 2016, if, if absent anything else, if Danny and I want to start, you know, doing something else, he still owns 90 percent. I own 10 percent, but it's one person, one vote. So we have equal voting power. You can imagine what kind of complications that would have, especially if a disagreement with your partner. So you know, I, you know I'm sure Danny would not like it very much if he had all that money in there and he couldn't control it. So that's the default rule. Now, um, another one. Now there are multiple changes, but the, these are the two biggies. And the other one is operating agreements do not need to be in writing. You're specifically allowed to have oral operating agreements. Um, really? <laughs> yeah, so basically, so who's to say that you have you know, Dan and I partner up again, and we don't have an agreement, we say, you know, we're kind of going on faith. We're just, again, we're just we're going by the seat of our pants. Um, who's to say in five years from now that we have an agreement, and, well, we agree, you know, Danny says, well, we're agreeing to this, you know, five years ago. It's like, no, no, no. That's not what we agreed to, because it leads to amb ambiguity, mistakes, confusion. So, but unfortunately, the law allows for them, so you're okay. So, my recommendations for LLCs is opt out of the default rules and actually understand the rules and go see an attorney, please. <laughs> it really drives me nuts. Thank you for watching. See an attorney when they set up their If LLCs. you would like to learn more or would like to schedule an appointment to discuss a business or estate planning issue you have please reach out to us by phone or email at your earliest convenience.